Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your uh, second week of July reading start from the 8th through the 14th of July 2020. This is going to be for the sign of uh, Cancer. Let's see what is coming up for Cancerians for this week time starting today. While I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. And you can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. You can also check out my sister's tarot channel. I will be adding the link to her channel in the comment section. If you like it, you can always become a part of her YouTube family as well. So let's get started. Let's see what is coming up for Cancerians for this week time. Let's begin. Three of Pentacles, Pair of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Pair of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. There is somebody on your mind for sure. Who is that? Um, it can be somebody that you're working with. It can be somebody um, at your workplace. It can be somebody uh, uh, that you're connected through your work. You know, it doesn't have to be a person, you know, in your workplace, but it can be somebody that you're connected to through your work. But yes, this person is pretty much on your mind. You are thinking about them. You are, you know, getting attracted towards them. You are feeling drawn towards them. For some reasons, I feel like, you know, you don't talk to this person much. But yes, there is this like um, attraction that you have towards this person. Plus, this person is pretty much on your mind. You are unable to focus on your work because you are too drawn to this person. Um, let's see one more card. Empress for some reasons either this person is married or you are already married But yes, there is a strong magnetic attraction that you have for this person uh, but Either one of you is married either one of you is already taken either one of you is already either committed or something around those lines Either one of you is taken for sure But yes, there is still this pull that you feel towards this person um, Let's see more cards here page of swords Five of Cups, oops, Two of Swords, what's going on in the world? The, the attraction is getting stronger and stronger with every passing day. You really want to talk to this person, you really want to pursue this connection, you really feel like, you know, maybe I've missed the chance. Uh, this person is pretty much on your mind, it, it, you know, nothing feels right without, uh, you know, um, I feel like you, know, you are looking for chances to see this person more often. And... Um, you don't know how to deal with the situation. You are going to, uh, you know, you will try to talk to this person as much as you can. Uh, you are going to, uh, you know, try to be friends with this person. But you don't know how to do that. You, you are going to try all that you can do because this person has got your, 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 your attention so bad. Like, you know, um, and even though either you are committed or they are committed, you are, you know, there is this uh, still pull that you feel towards this person. I feel like, you know, it's more of that energy where you, where you get um, kind of addicted to this person. It's, it's like, you know, it's, um, you know that you cannot have them. That's what is getting dangerous because it's, it's like, you know, that is something that is causing you have, uh, stress it's it's like you know adding stress to you now because you know you cannot have this person and that's the one thing which you know th this one thing when you when you know you cannot have one thing your madness your craving for this person will get more and more as you as 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 you, yeah, you as more time passes by you're going to feel more for this person you're going to feel more you know pulled towards this person but as soon as you have this person it's all going to go away because it's nothing like love but yes, it's more of attraction. It's more of, a, you know, the pull, maybe sexual pull. Maybe you find this person very sexually attractive. Um, but it's nothing like love at all. Like, you know, don't don't fool yourself by saying that maybe I've, I've fallen for, you know, for this girl or for this guy. No, you have not. It's more of sexual thing. It's more of a, that energy. It's more of that, you know, um, physical attraction is what I'm picking up more than anything. You find this person very attractive, sexually attractive or you know you find this you know person so uh charming handsome beautiful sexy but nothing more than that i mean there, there is nothing more to it but yes you you thinking of this person is going to make you feel like maybe i've fallen for this person but in actuality it's nothing as soon as if if i say 
if if you sleep with this person once it's all gone it's you know the passion the love that you are feeling for for this person right now it's it's going to be all gone there is no love there is no attachment there is nothing like that you are just confusing yourself or you know uh, the energies could be reversed as well as uh, you know as i already said whatever it is it's it's like you know it's it's just like you know um the more you're getting excited and crazy for this person, the sooner you are going to get out of it. Like, you know, it's it's, um, it's that kind of a whirlpool that you're going to get into and then you're going to come out of. Like, you know, it's going to be so swift and, you know, um, sudden, like, you know, everything, if, if it happens. But yes, right now, I do see that um, this this connection that you are having, this uh, person or this, you know, the, the uh, you know, uh, the person who who you are you know keeping your eye on it's it's not gonna work and uh but yeah i do see you you know this week is going to be the time where you are you know feeling more and more and more drawn towards this person you feel like you know you can work things out with this person you feel like you know this person could be the one for some of you you might be even thinking of you know coming out of the current relationship that you are in and you know get into one with this person again you are just fooling yourself with that thought it's it's not gonna happen it's it's not it's not that kind of thing which can lead to something stable which can lead to something even there's nothing to be very honest there is nothing more than sexual attraction and you don't leave a person that you are already committed to for somebody that you are feeling pulled towards sexually it's um it's just like you know um whatever you are craving for whatever you're wanting right now in this connection is lame to be very honest so it's it's not worth the uh you know um it's it's nothing it's um you can just uh you know you you can um it's just that you are just wanting them until you have them once you have them they are you know gone you will not be feeling pulled towards them any longer because it's nothing yeah ten of swords underneath that page of wands once you start it it's going to end like anything so you are going to get back to normal so why you want it at first place it's just going to spoil your, your your you know environment at your workplace as well if that person is somebody at your work front so don't let that happen. Don't uh, let this, you know, uh, uh, time pass spark, uh, you know, uh, kill your repetition at your work plus your equation with each other at work as well. Don't don't spoil it. Don't spoil the, uh, you know, the situation for yourself and for this person. Don't get into it because it's it, it's not going to last to anything uh, beautiful or stable because there is nothing that would go that far. So it's a very short-lived kind of a situation where you are feeling pulled towards this person. This person is feeling, um, to be very honest, I don't see the other person's energy. But yes, I do see that, yes, this person knows that they are, you know, sexually attractive. They know their worth. They know they are, you know, the the the, the best, you know, uh, um, you know, maybe girl or the, the guy or, you know, whatever. It's like, you know, they know they are, you know, the most good looking maybe out where you are working right now, wherever you see this person, they know that they are the best one there and uh, they know their worth, they know they, that any they can have anybody if they want. But yes, it's, it's more like, you know, that um, you really want to just have this person as, as, uh, as your uh, time pass for some time. And it, it may it might be some sort of, you know, that, that ego thing maybe that you really want to uh, get this person and, you know, that's all you want. Once you have this and it's it's all gone. It's it's nothing positive, nothing stable, nothing at all. I don't know if it's going to work for you, but as of now, during this week time, I don't see it working. But if it will work, it's not going to last long. So it's, it's just going to ruin the, uh, you know, relationship that you have right now. So let's see one card for from the Oracle. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. <sighs> you really need to focus on the inner light right now because you are just uh, 
getting mesmerized by this, you know, um, this uh, person. And it's like, uh, you are not thinking straight right now. It's, it's just that you're too focused on, you know, their beauty, their, their aura, the, carry, uh, the way they carry themselves. You're so um, overwhelmed by their presence. Whenever they, they, they meet you, they see you. But it's high time you understand. And especially if you're married or you are already taken, you really have to focus on... Um, I mean, don't, don't create mess for yourself and for your love life. Just try to... Um, It's very childish if you think that way for this person. If you feel like, you know, this is the one I should be with. It's, it's, it's like you are fooling yourself with that mind, like, you know, with, with that feeling actually. Because deep down, you know what it is like. So don't do that. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. One more, one more message I'm picking up with this energy. The person who is married, maybe the person that you are getting entrusted into, maybe they are, um, maybe they are too committed to their person, and maybe you are single. And if they are committed, and I feel like you know for some reasons, maybe this person is married and you are not. And if that's the case. This person, um, because this person is married and they are happy with their person, they they might be treating you like a colleague or something, but you are taking them the wrong way. So it's it's like you know their inner light is uh, showing you to them as as somebody they are you know being nice to, but when it comes to you, you are being very devilish. So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If the reading resonates with you, do you like, subscribe, and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.